Hey guys, it's Becca. So the first order of business is that I am on Instagram now. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I would really appreciate it. My handle is Becca underscore Rand, and I just figured out how to use Instagram stories, so watch out. This week I continued working on Alex Wu's gesture drawing class through schoolism.com. I had started it last week, and this week I finished the shape exercises and also the silhouette exercises. So the first exercise for shape was finding shapes from photo references. The second exercise was doing cafe drawing finding shapes, so that's I mean, in an ideal case, it would be in life drawing, but in this case, I was using photo references online. So I did a couple hours of finding shapes from uh, simple photograph reference. And the last part of this exercise was going back and taking some of my earlier shapes that I had drawn um, from my first attempts at doing this and drawing some stylized figures within those shapes. And this was definitely, adding the figures in there was definitely an added level of difficulty here, but I was really pleased with how dynamic some of these figures looked. They definitely look nothing like what I would draw without reference, so I think putting them in the shape has really pushed me to make them look more dynamic and, and or more expressive and more communicative. So uh, there's some un like anatomy issues going on here, but I think in general I can see how helpful this kind of exercise could be for helping you draw characters in more dynamic and more active poses. I really love these shape drawings. I don't know if you guys like them, but I just find them so pleasant to look at. I like how simple they are and geometric. I don't know if it's just because I have a graphic design background or maybe this is just the kind of visual language that I like, but I found these exercises very satisfying to do. They were a little difficult, not too hard, a little difficult, but but the, out, the outcome, just this page full of shapes, I found very pleasant. The next lesson was silhouette, which I thought would be very similar to shape, but it actually ended up being way, way, way more difficult than I expected. Um, so the general concept behind silhouette is that you want to show your character or your figure that in a way that reads very quickly. So you don't want any silhouettes that don't communicate what that character or person is doing. So this might involve uh, moving the arms or legs of the character or even changing the angle of the person in your drawing so that you can have a better read uh, on what they're doing and what they're communicating, either their attitude or literally the actual action that they're doing. So for example, this silhouette does not communicate very well, it just looks like a blob. But if you change the angle, you can really see the expression and the uh, intention of the pose much better. So the point of these exercises is to adjust the silhouette to better communicate what that person is doing or feeling or how they're interacting with the world. For the silhouette exercises, I did silhouettes based on some movie stills and also from cafe drawing. Uh, and I would say in general, I was very surprised at how difficult this was for me. I couldn't understand why some of my characters just ended up looking so wrong, like just totally wrong. And I thought about it a bit and I have a few theories. So number one, because with so many of these poses, you have to adjust the angle of the person in a lot of ways, you're actually not drawing from photo reference anymore. You're using the photo as sort of an inspiration, but when you actually have to draw the pose, if the character is facing forward and you wanna turn them to a three quarter angle, you don't use the photo. You have to draw from imagination, from memory. And if you don't have a really strong understanding of figure drawing and you haven't already drawn somebody in that pose many times, it is really difficult to to draw from imagination. So while it seems kind of like a simple adjustment to modify the character slightly, a lot of times you have to really fully go from your knowledge. And of course, while I've done a lot of drawing, I haven't really done enough to be able to do this without some effort and some mistakes and some guess and check uh, approach to it. Secondly, this approach to the figure is totally different than how I've ever learned it from any other figure drawing classes that I'm in. Uh, generally speaking, and there's some variations on this, but generally speaking, when you're learning to draw the figure specifically, you're going to use some basic shapes and some basic lines to give you a framework for how you can build the figure. So for example, when you first start, maybe you learn to draw an oval for the rib cage and a circle for the pelvis, and then maybe you move on to blocks, or maybe you move on to some kind of mannequinization, or you use the Riley method. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but essentially you're using kind of different uh, landmarks on the body to control the proportions and to make sure that you're not 
losing uh, the proportions of the body and that things are connected in the right spot. When you're approaching a figure from silhouette, you don't have any of those little visual uh, tools to help you fix the proportions, to help you make sure that things are connecting properly. So while a really structured drawing kind of looks more impressive and it looks more challenging, I have personally found that just drawing from a contour, drawing from a silhouette, ends up being way, way harder than building it from separate pieces because I found with my drawings, a lot of times the proportions got way, way off because I wasn't referencing other um, areas of the body to make sure that things were scaling properly. This exercise was definitely a stretch for me. I am a little scared to go on to the next lesson, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.